In this tutorial, we will give you an overview of how to control your fixtures properties with LightKey. Every fixture has a set of properties that can be controlled through DMX. Most properties appear in the design view at the bottom of the window. The design view always controls the fixtures that are selected. For example, we can select these moving heads and then assign a color and fade up their dimmer. Note that light key has automatically opened the shutter for us. When a property has a frame around it, it is selected and we can use keyboard shortcuts to quickly change it. These shortcuts appear in the lower right. For example, if we want to set the dimmer to 40%, we can simply type 4. If we want exactly 55%, we type 55. The blue dot indicates that the dimmer property is defined, or overridden. If the dot is gray, then the property is defined for some of the selected fixtures only. We can click the dot to clear the property so it reverts to the default state, or simply press the delete key. If you ever want to undo a change, choose Undo from the Edit menu or press Command Z. You can see which properties a fixture has when you click on its name. Again, the dots indicate that a property is defined. When you choose a property from the menu, it is selected. There are also keyboard shortcuts for the most common properties. For example, press Shift C to select the color property. You can also hold down C for about half a second. Use whatever you prefer. Some fixture properties don't appear in the design view. For example, if we select the position property, this HUD appears. Click in the HUD to change the pan and tilt. This affects all selected fixtures, not just the fixture that the HUD is attached to. As before, the blue dot means that the position property is defined, and you can click it to clear the property. While a HUD is open, you can also use keyboard shortcuts to change the fixture property. You can also scroll to change the position. Hold down the command key to change the tilt angle. We'll tell you more about gestures in the video, Multi-Touch Gestures. The blue dots next to the fixture names show that the fixtures have overridden properties. We can click one of them to see which properties are overridden, or simply press Command P. Clicking a property selects it in the design view or opens its HUD. Click the X icon to clear a property for a single fixture. Hold down the Option key and click the X to clear a property for all fixtures. To clear all overridden properties for the selected fixtures, press Command Delete. To clear the overridden properties for all fixtures, press Command Shift Delete. Or click the brush icon in the toolbar.